So let's see what's currently being used, turn some devices on and off, and see what our current draw is on the system and the devices that we currently have. So let's test that out a bit. The charger has shifted from bulk to absorption, meaning that uh, this way the batteries have time to absorb the energy that the charger is presenting to them and uh, reach a proper state of charge. Let's see what the Ford F-150's Pro Power 7.2 kilowatt onboard option says about how much current this is currently drawing. This is the only device that is essentially connected to that. All of the uh, outlets and everything throughout the uh, Airstream are connected to the output of this inverter. So uh, this MultiPlus inverter charger is the only thing that's connected to the truck. Let's see how much it's pulling in order to charge these batteries. As we mentioned in a previous video, the connector that we have purchased to connect our 30 amp service directly to the two legs of our truck pulls from leg B, this leg here uh, at circuit. So circuit B is showing less than 200 watts, just as circuit A is. Nothing is connected to circuit A. So the Ford F-150 Pro Power onboard option essentially defaults to this minus or less than 200 watts display when it, nothing is essentially drawing from that circuit. So very, very little. So the onboard electronics of the inverter are really all that's it's drawing some power. So we're looking at less than a couple hundred watts. A little earlier when the MultiPlus was in bulk charge mode, it was pulling about 1500 watts. Okay, so about uh, 12 amps or so. It is now pulling nearly nothing, letting those batteries kind of come up, slowly charging them up. All right, so that's uh, with only the inverter powered up and in absorption mode for the charger on uh, two batteries. Let's, uh, let's flip on some other devices like the air conditioner and see what happens to our current usage as we go way up. Our duo therm penguin air conditioner, we just flipped into low cool mode. And uh, it's kicked on. You can tell that the uh, air conditioning is starting to work. It's uh, on some cool air. So let's see what's happened to our power usage. We've gone up to 1500 watts. And that is what, uh, what the air conditioner draws when it's in low cool mode. That, uh, that matches up pretty well with what we noticed in our previous video. It's good because that means with the inverter charger in place and the batteries relatively well charged up, the draw is the same as the inverter. A little bit of losses uh, through the inverter itself, but not much. So let's bump it up to medium, see what it does, and bump it up to high. And then we'll leave it there for a while. We need to cool the airstream down so we can do some work inside. It is uh, over 90 degrees and sunny today, so plenty of heat. Plenty of load for that air conditioner. All right, we've gone from using about 1500 watts to using uh, 1700, 1800 watts. So we've gone from about 12 and a half amp draw to about a 14, a little over 14 amp draw by just having our air conditioner on and that's compared low, low mode compared to medium, uh, 12 and a half amps, 14 amps. So I'm gonna kick it up to high, see what it does there and then keep adding some more loads. Hmm. That's interesting. We increased the air conditioner from medium to high cool mode. And we're still at about 1800 watts. 1800 watts is about 15 amps at 120 volts. There we go, a little bit higher here and there. It's about 15 amps. Not much additional, uh, additional load there, not much additional draw. Let's kick the refrigerator on and see what, uh, what it does. The MultiPlus is still in absorption mode. Hmm. The inverter should be on. I guess maybe that means it's just not drawing anything from the batteries in order to pass it on to through the uh, through the MultiPlus. It's essentially outputting what it's receiving from the truck and uh, not really providing much charge right now to these guys because they seem to be pretty well topped up. Let's see what happens when we kick on the refrigerator and see if this does start to provide any boost. Auto, set to coldest. Put it on auto, automatically kicked into AC. So it's using AC power, not 
gas. And that's going to start drying as well. No change in the display here. We're going to have to uh, get connected to this thing and see what it tells us. Almost 90 degrees in the freezer, so I'd say that's a pretty hot start. All right, our power usage has jumped up a bit to 2100 watts, 2200 watts here. So 17 and a half, 15 amps. That's with the air conditioner fully powered on high and the refrigerator just started. The draw from the inverter charger, very low, Victron Multi Plus, because those batteries are already charged up. The Ford Pass app also gives us a view from inside the trailer, for example, where we're at right now, of what is happening with the Pro Power option. As we can see, it's drawing 2100 watts, just like we saw earlier from inside on the display. Now we should find out what happens if those batteries can keep up with this kind of a load if we turn it off the generator. Let's find out. This is what happens when you get the system to draw at the max. So we're drawing a full 30 amps into our inverter charger because now we have all those loads still on, the air conditioner, the refrigerator, all on full blast, and the inverter is in charge mode. So the inverter charger, the multi-plus, is in charge mode, filling up those batteries. It just slipped on down to absorption, so the charger is turned off. Immediately we can see that it is going down on its maximum power draw at 3600 watts. It drew right up to the 30 amp limit because it knows that it's connected to a 30 amp supply. So it drew right up to the top of it for a little while when the loads really peaked on the AC side. It even drew from the batteries to keep those on. And at one point the truck said, whoa, too much load. Well, it exceeded 30 amps. So it treated that as a short and it tripped its own internal breaker. That's when the multi plus started to draw from its batteries, and now it is kind of normalized. The load has come come down a bit. The charger is not drawing an additional 14, 1500 watts. All is back to normal. So there you have it. Maximum draw at 30 amps, 3600 watts. The truck didn't like it, complained, but as long as it kind of peaked at that point and didn't just come on at a full 30 amps it uh it let that it let that pass so some tweaking to be done on this system obviously we've got some batteries to add we've got some programming to do on the multi plus but still pretty functional and uh, interesting to see how much each device will draw under worst case scenario circumstances